We need to talk about the most recent World Zero announcement and how it's going to affect those of you that haven't prestiged yet. Hi, in the Bolivians, it is Sister Carter. Hopefully, having a great day. I'm having a great day. We're back today in World Zero because we're going to be going over a recent announcement made by Bouldery, aka Coffee, that is going to be affecting the game long term. Has to deal with the update that was supposed to be this Friday and a bunch of other stuff. So if you haven't already, please make sure you smash, smash, smash the like button, do the same subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. The other thing we are going to be talking about today is there was a QA on Discord hosted by Bouldery that some of the stuff that was brought up, I kind of wanted to talk about here because there's no actual video on it and I do have a few notes on it. So let's go ahead and get on into the Discord message and we'll go from there. So this message was posted just earlier today and it says, guys, I have a lot of news for you today. So let's jump right on into it. Guilds, we have a lot of exciting ideas for guild seasons, but we have more important content that we need to focus on first. So we're pausing guild seasons until further notice. This is not permanent. Guild seasons will eventually return better than ever. Now, in regards to this, there was some things said in the Q&A. Uh, they're going to be having some quality of life stuff put into guilds, helping with management systems from things that he was talking about. So I understand why they're doing this. Considering the guild season was supposed to start two days from now, maybe not the best time to be announcing this. Maybe this is something we should have talked about like earlier, but I do understand why they're wanting to put this on hold. I understand that. Also, they really need to space out when they start the guild stuff and when they put the content in because uh, having content and guild season start at the exact same time, uh, one, is going to not help with a lot of the guilds because everyone's going to want to grind the new content. So, but yeah, there you go. So if you're in guilds, here you go. Prestige Dungeons, something else that was supposed to come out this week. We'll be moving the Prestige Dungeon release date back to when we release the next world, World 8. These will require you to prestige at least once. If you haven't already prestiged, guys, you need to do it now. We're going to be talking about World 8 here in just a second with the next part of this as to why you should at least be getting into Prestige 2 very soon, even if you're like, I don't want to have all this progress, because it is about to get harder to prestige. It is about to get harder to get up to max level. Let me explain. World 8, yes, World 8, we will be releasing more worlds going forward. The level cap will be bumped up to 110 with World 8. But we'll be putting more focus on the open world environment. We'll be doing a majority of your leveling. World 8 will also release with two forms of in-game content. One, which being Prestige Dungeons. So, go away. <laughs> if you haven't already Prestiged, guess what? Max level has now gotten increased. Which means if you have to be at max level in order to prestige now, um, I don't know if they'll do it like this, but just hypothetically, uh, keep in mind if you are not prestige yet and you wait till after this update to prestige when they release the new world and the prestige dungeons, um, you're going to have to grind an extra 20 levels, okay? An extra 20 levels in order to get max level now, which is going to take you longer because the higher end levels usually take a little bit longer. So... If you have not already started your prestige process, I would very, very quickly try to get into high-end stuff. And you need to be level 100 by the time that they release the next world, which is world 8. Now, some of you are like, wait a minute. We all have level 100 gear. Like, a lot of us spent a lot of time and or money getting these items. Like, your zero weapons and your zero armor. What's going to happen to all of them? Well, here's an answer to that. Zero Gear. We'll be introducing a new way to upgrade the level of any weapon, including your Zero Gear. We'll be releasing more information as we get closer to when World 8 is ready to be released. So, that means, with this new in-game content, we will be getting new staff things. Or not new staff, but basically new level things. So, you can use the gear that you currently have. Or if you are trying to grind for the new stuff for the new Legendary classes, you still can. Now, I do have other videos I'm going to be talking about, different classes. This is other stuff coming out in the future. But, guys, 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 if you haven't already prestiged, the future of the game's content is going to be in prestiging. So, if you haven't already done it, it, it is time to spend this weekend sucking it up and doing it, okay? <laughs> do it. So, make sure you've gone ahead and prestige. You still can be grinding for your zero gear. You're all good in that. Now, the other thing that was brought up during the Q&A, other than the delay of the guilds is uh just a tidbit they are going to possibly be changing how pets level up soon 
which, you know, food, food. So kind of keep that in mind that that may be changing soon. I know some of us are pet hunters, but uh, some of that may be changing here very shortly. There was a couple of other things that were also mentioned during the Q&A. Um, the other big thing is if you haven't noticed, Valentine's Day Battle Pass has now departed us. But we all have a lot of items that are untradeable, unfortunately. Like I have mounts. I have one of these mounts that's supposed to be given away. I can't give them away yet. So uh, they are looking to hopefully before the next battle pass, which the next battle pass is confirmed to be Easter themed. So please let me know in the comments section down below what you think will be the Easter mount. I am hoping for a giant bun bun. I am hoping for a giant bun bun or we ride around in a giant basket like the sleigh and it just kind of floats there and wobbles. I think that'd be great. But that they are trying to get a hold of the duping situation, which if y'all didn't know, uh, back when Zero Weapons first came out, these Zero staffs were very heavily duped. Uh, the one I currently have is one I made. I know people are going to say it's not the best. I don't care. I like it. So the duping problem, they are trying to make sure that is ramified before they unlock the rest of the items to be tradable. So if you were holding on stuff from the Valentine's Day Battle Pass, I just realized that once they get that resolved to the best of their ability is when we will be able to be trading stuff that is newer again. So the rest of the stuff does not lock. So, but just kind of keep that in mind. So guys, that's all the info I have for y'all. If I think of anything else, I put it in the comment section down below for y'all. But so plebs, thank you for being here. I greatly appreciate it. My individual crew girl are awesome as always. And I will see you next time. Goodbye. Before we go, guys, I want to give a big shout out to my lovely knights of the YouTube channel. I greatly appreciate all y'all's support. Y'all are amazing. And a big shout out to my Emerald Knights. Thank you so much for the love and support. See y'all next time.